Bioterror. The world lives with it. You live with it. Viruses are stolen, re-engineered, misused with tragic results. And who are you supposed to trust? Politicians who sell their souls for a few votes? CEOs who betray consumers for a quick buck? Count on us instead. We're above the politics, always watching, always ready to face the threat head on. We are the unflinching mop that sops up the evils of bioterrorism and chemical warfare. They call us Terror Save. Because Terror doesn't have to end with a wrist. Hey guys. I'd feel. Oh, hi, Claire. Hey. Hey, Claire. Moira. Welcome to the club. Uh. Reporting for duty, Ms. Redfield. When do the hazing start? <sighs> Cut it out. We've been friends for how long? Long enough that I'm allowed to give you shit. Psst. Claire, could you, uh... What's up, Neil? Something's going down in Washington. Did you hear anything? What, the new virus? Come on. You know Tricella's history, right? Hello? Hey, that Barry Burton's girl? Yep, Moira started today. But you've got to be careful if you're going to mention her. And her and her dad? Oh, yeah. Emotional minefield. <laughs> okay. You did your homework. What other horrible invasions of privacy have you gotten there? Hey, I got to look out for Terra Safe. We have our enemies. Anyway, good luck breaking her in. <sighs> She's not a horse. Bye. Uh-oh. What do you do this time? <sighs> Fucking Barry. Every time I ask him anything, he pushes back. I wouldn't even be here if I listened to... Did it open? Hey, um, all out people. Um, so this is Nick, and I'm playing the new Resident Evil 2, Revelations 2, and I haven't recorded anything more? in about a year or so. Oh my God. And hey, Moira, what's up? Don't worry. I'm gonna get you out of there right now. Moira, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Claire. 
in a moist barrel of fucking... Mm -hmm. I just want to go home. It's okay. We're gonna get out of here. And so yeah, the last thing I ever played or ever like recorded, I think, was either My Shadows God, of Mordor. What did we do? Or I wish I could tell you. Um, Alien. Or I don't remember. It was like at least a year ago. So it's been a while since I've done anything. So messed up. What do you like think this? But, I've already beaten this on normal. I have a, way too much ammo for this part of the game, because you start with nothing. But I'm going through it again on survival. Um, and I've been trying to get like trophies in casual, so I have a million herbs. The last thing I tried to do was go through the first episode with only the knife. So I have a ton of ammo and a ton of herbs with Claire. So hopefully this will be easy, and I won't have to start over like, a million times. But yeah, I, I fucking... I really enjoyed this. This is like the best Resident Evil game in the past four years, I think. Not including like the remastered remaster of Resident Evil One again. Did you hear that? And yeah, it's fucking really good. They took like, the best things out of every single Resident Evil. Oh like it's it's nice and slow, like to start. There's some parts that get like super like you gotta kill everything in a room deal. But like for the most part, anytime you encounter any enemy, the option to run away is there. Which is really nice, because that's what you pretty much do in Resident Evil 1, 2, 3. You just run from you everything. Can squeeze under this. Give me a hand, Moira. And it's not like mandatory that you Go. run away from everything. But just the ability to just go, fuck that, I'm just gonna run away like a bitch, is great. You need to be a bitch every now and then. Stand back. And, I'm gonna let this do its thing first. But a lot of the things they did, like, they took the character switching for Resident Evil Zero. This is also, multi also multiplayer. But, like, with Resident Evil 5 and 6, you couldn't switch between your characters. And each character is, like, different, which is nice, because, like, in order to find items, you need to use Moira's flashlight to find. The thing I like is that you, you find sparklies or shiny items. Which is what Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3 was all about. Just looking for shinies and Hurry. find, like, just combing the sides of the walls. Trying to find items that are just, like, not visible. Um. And like, they took, like, kind of the idea of Crimson Heads from the, um, from Resident Evil 1 remake. They're not... Like, not until the third chapter, but the Crimson Head type thing is like you kill a normal enemy, it comes back and the enemies that explode, which is cool. Oh shit. Gina. Oh, I can't do anything. Oh. But I thought that was really cool. Like, the amount of like backtracking is just yeah. right. Like you have to go get a She's key, a backtrack to a door, use the I key, go this. through, and it's it's a really nice like mix of like actiony and we like just kind of like looking this around for we stuff. Need to find a way through. Like obviously this part is extremely linear. Kind of it's like beginning totally. tutorial. Uh, here. Oh, steady. Uh, okay. But once you get like through the door that's locked here, it becomes like more open. And it's not as intense as the original Resident Evils. But there was a part in um in the third in the fourth chapter is Barry, where I audibly like gasped because a door was locked with an emblem key. And I was like, oh, oh my god, that's awesome. So in that that section there's like three keys. In this section there's only like one, two keys you get, but they're in two different areas. 
the third chapter is like the most Resident Evil. Like you go to a place and there's like a bunch of locked doors and you just gotta go around and find a key. Then after you get that key, go to the next place. And so on. Get on the ladder, damn it. All right, we made it. He's over there. So this part in your first playthrough, you get a cutscene where you teach how to use the flashlight and the the gun. But since it's my second playthrough, they don't give you that. And I'm just gonna go do this. Oh no. Come on, where do I go? Oh god, he's fucking trucking. And also all my oh all my weapons are upgraded. So I got like extended clips, burst, fire on some guns. I got crouch shot is upgraded. You get more power if you do if you shoot while crouched. Um and also they, they kinda added the thing like that door I just went through. Enemies can't follow me through that door, because this is an isolated area, separate from that other area. But, um, the enemies in here, like, are obviously already in here. And this fucking dodge is the best shit. It's so good. Alright, I'm trying to... Or nothing's gonna follow me through it. Like the first time playing, like I just fucking ran and was scared because I didn't know that things weren't gonna follow me. But um, as like you learn the mechanics, it's pretty. It's just it's just fucking very a very good mix of old school and new school Resident Evil. This is where you get the shotgun, so I'm gonna start using that now. Um, and then you have this whole thing. You need a gun too, Moira. No. I really, really don't. No, I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Shit. I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, maybe we can find you something else. No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. So there's more, yeah, you get these little shinies, and then you can focus on them. And I think there's something shiny there. Bullets, I can't make it topaz, out. and Let then you get your crowbar. Nice. Crowbar. Blunt weapon. This is a I collectible can do you get. Weapons. I already got that one. I don't know where any other ones are, other ones are, but that's the one I got. You can do that. You can do this. And then the good thing is, except right now it's this tutorial. You can start it and then switch, and she'll just keep doing it while you uh, do your Claire thing. Yeah, but it's fucking, it's just fucking great. It's not super, yeah. like... You saw that, right? Yeah, I saw something. And it's not, like, super hard. One of the hardest parts of it is just fucking getting Moira to, like, be safe. Um, oh, damn it. When you're, like, fighting, like, a boss or something. But aside from that, she's pretty good at just, like, staying away from enemies. Um, I just prefer, like, I play, I try to do invisible enemy mode to get, uh, the special weapons for them, but Moira just refuses to use the flashlight on enemies, so I just don't know where stuff is. Like, that's the only way you can see enemies is by her flashlight, and she just wouldn't do it. She would have it off, I'm like, bitch, show me where the enemies are. She wouldn't do it. I was really upset. But I might not talk too much, because I'm not going to be, like, surprised by anything. I don't want to spoil anything. What? Who the fuck is quoting poetry? Are you afraid? You can tell me. Talk to me. What are you talking about? Those bracelets change color in response to fear. And who exactly are you? Yet. 
Yeah, this dude was like, yo, this is a good idea. He built this, like, fire-breathing thing. Also, I kept... I always destroy those this parts. Like a way out. So I'm gonna try not to do it this time. Because, um, that would be helpful to have. Where? Turn on your flashlight. And come over here. What are you doing? So, yeah, that door is locked. So, we're gonna go this way. The Kafka thing over here. I'm not gonna read it. You guys can just pause it and read it. I'll just show you where stuff is if you want to. Oh, that looks comfy. Yeah, let's take one home. Look at this machine. There's something stuck in it. It's not working. The power must be off. Maybe there's a switch? And here's the first box you get. Uh, I'm almost going to do this one. But I've gotten... I've gotten all of them in the first, oh, the first chapter, the first episode. I think I missed one with Barry, but it's more where I got everything. Um, you just get like parts from all those, unless you already got the parts, then it just gives you uh, BP Claire, stuff. This way. But I should be pretty good at beating this on survival with my. How many herbs do I have with my fucking fifteen herbs? Maybe once we're outside, we can find someone to help us. Let's hope. Turn. I don't know why she keeps turning the flashlight off. But like, this game is a very like a very Last of Usy feel when you're playing as um. Barry. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Which is all right. It's better that it's in co-op than rather rather than it being like just Joel. Oh hey, these guys. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh damn it! I'm trying to cut his head. Oh damn it! Move. Okay, I fucked up really bad. If you hit them in the head once. Um, they have this pus on their head that explodes, and then if you use the flashlight, you can get rid of it. Otherwise, it'll be a problem for Barry's thing. But I'm pretty sure in Barry's, that's the tutorial for when you, uh, find the goop. This guy doesn't know. He's getting experimented on. I didn't hit X. There we go. Um, okay. There we go, that. Oh, fuck it. Get him, Moira. Yeah. So now. Should be pus, but there's no pus. Sometimes it's weird. But normally there'll be like goops. Not like that. It's more of like a purple thing. Not purple, more of a pink thing. And I'm gonna try this without it, using bullets. So Moira is pretty good. Like, I find that playing as Moira isn't isn't. Oh, okay. That was easy. He really, really wanted us to just stab him. I was trying to save bullets, and it worked out. Um, but playing as Moira isn't terrible. You find you kind of, if you play single player, end up playing as the support character more than the gun character because you gotta find all the items that you want. But aside from that, like, unless you know where everything is, like, in, in Barry's story or Barry's campaign, uh, only Natalia can, or Natalia can, like, see through walls and shit, because she's magic. Um, so, like, it's good for your first playthrough, but once you know where stuff is, you can just kind of play with Barry, and you do not ever need to change into her, except for when you have to go through a small vent. And 
there's stealth in this game, which I kind of like. It's not bad. It's just, you know, whatever. Um, um, but that's like, it's like Last of Us, you like, especially when you're Barry, you have this big old backpack, and you're sneaking around, and then you just stealth kill and stuff. But in Last of Us, it was so slow, just strangling people. This is just kick, stab, you're done. Um, it's like something else too. There's another game that it reminds me of, but I can't think of it at the moment. Last of Us is like the best comparison. Oh, it's just like kind of gameplay wise how it's what it's similar to. And there's bugs in it, like Silent Hill. Bugs. Silent Hill bugs. There had to be bugs. There had to be bugs in all the scary games. Woo. waste my bullets so good thing that I like good thing I like that but it's also super weird um two things this part you can take as long as you want and the garbage disposal will not start closing till you get into the room tutorial bit there we go I can beat him with the crowbar oh Christ this crowbar is pretty good um but yeah, you can take as long as you want to go through here, and the thing won't move. And I forgot the thing I was going to say before that. Shit. It was something where, what was it? Oh, fucking bugs. Okay. I forget. If I remember, I'll say it, but I probably won't. Fucking bug. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, man. Yeah. I was almost a clear sandwich. Oh, does Barry tell everyone that story? Well, at least we've got power. That should help. Oh, shit. But I like, I like Barry's campaign way more than Claire's. Claire's is more of like a Resident Evil oh, bottle. Claire's is more of a Resident Evil like four style. Well, Barry's is more old school and like slow ass zombies and shit. Um, if they are zombies, because part of this is like it's oh. So I never go this way. I usually go the other way. The other guy is scary and attacks you. But um, thing I really like about this headshots usually if you land. You land them. Oh, good. Headshot usually takes stuff out that would be like, oh, it's just like a stupid zombie monster. Yeah, you should definitely kill it. Um, unless you're fighting something crazy, then it won't. Which I like. I like, because Resident Evil 6, my biggest problem is is the first encounter with the zombie, and you sh I just shot him once in the head. I'm like, that's all it's going to take. And it didn't die. And I was like, what the fuck? That should be dead. Because I shot it square in the face. And it was just dumb, and I hated it. And it made me not like the game, instantly. Also, this game only has one quick time event, and it's a fucking trick, and I hate it. But I know, I, I don't mind it, it's fine. It just made me play the game twice to get the good ending, because there's two in this one. And the bad ending is really bad. Because it's just like, what? It's over? Okay. Bye bye The good ending, you get a whole extra like, boss fight. And an actual conclusion. All right, so I gotta not. This I might die here because I'm not gonna. Normally, what you do is you turn on the fire and then you break the thing when you spin it because there's a death vortex in there that'll just chop you up. Um, but in this, I'm just gonna turn it first and then turn it on. Oh my god, why did you- Okay, the thing I hate, I just remember it now. Fucking quick turn is the same thing as the action button. So when you're gonna do something, and you're not facing it. Ow. Oh god. Alright, Moira, go, go, go. 
Here we go. So, yeah, there's that thing on the left of me that that dude just ran into. And now one kill you, one shot you. But I like this because I don't have to fight. As soon as the player opens that door, I'm out. You can fight, and you should just stay alive, but I don't want to fight all these things. I'm not a very angry person. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Alright, we almost out. Alright, I think I left that herb in there as well. Hopefully Barry can get it, because I have nine, still. And I don't think I'm going to need them, because I'm pretty good at this game. After playing it, like, twice. Where do you think we are? Obviously it gets much harder, but the first thing is pretty easy. Oh, again with these stupid bracelets. Who are you? I want answers. I am the overseer. Yeah. Fear requires an audience. And a conductor. Overseer. What do you want from us? Nice. Real nice. So I'm using the... Oh, I'm using the... So there's two shotguns you get in this game. But I upgraded the first one because the first one does way more damage than the second one. Um, and has more of like a stun effect. The second one's more semi-automatic. And um... Claire, look! Over there! And just like better to start tower. and it, I think it has maybe we can send an SOS it has less upgradable slots the upgrades in this work pretty well and they're pretty cool also I think this happens only to Moira oh it didn't happen once I was walking across this bridge and the fucking bridge broke like a little bit like there's one spot that there it is this part there it is found it this kind of scared me a little bit so I was trying to find it it was way louder than I expected but yeah that happens to only Moira I think because of other things that'll See, happen to Moira. You can do it. Ah. Oh, I got you. It's weird. There was like a very specific spot. Fuck also, this looks like shit. It didn't look like shit when I played it before. Cause I played it sorry. with my normal setup. That isn't my up. capture setup, which makes never forgive me. everything kind of shitty. Cause I have to go through the component cable rather than the HDMI. It looks, it looks really bad and moans and in this one, but like, it looked everything. fine earlier at that 1080, because I'm playing on the PS3, not the PS4, with the fancy graphics, because I don't have one yet, because there's nothing out yet, except Bloodborne did just come out, so I can't play that, but that's just one game that I can't play when there's like other games that come out on both, and it makes the next-gen console so pointless. So? No, it's dead. You stay here. I'm gonna go check it out. and I were taken here against our will. I don't know where. <laughs> we have these fucked up bracelets and this crazy woman is talking to us. Some kind of monsters have killed the others. <laughs> Please, send help. Please. One more time. My name is Moira Burton. <laughs> oh, God. What is this place?
must be alive.